Bonjour, c'est Clara French in the Midlands. This video is about all the English words we use in French. Bear in mind we're not supposed to. There's always a French equivalent that's been created. For instance, I remember when the word marketing uh, entered French vocabulary quickly, the word mercatique was created, which nobody has ever used. Everybody uses the English word marketing. And you'll see this happens for a lot of them. So I've provided a list and by all, mean, by all means use these words in French as well. But bear in mind, you have to pronounce them with a French accent. And secondly, we don't use all of them to mean what they should mean. And I'll show you that a bit further. First of all, remember that most sporting terms are English. We don't really bother translating these in French. So you've got le football, le tennis, le basket, le volley, le hockey, le rugby, le sprint, le golf, le score, le match, le supporter, le recordman, le handicap, le green, le hooligan. It's just remembering French accent. If you say most of these words with an English accent, the French won't understand what you mean. Also, nowadays, most corporate terms are in English with a French accent again. So you've got le manager, le marketing, le leader, le feedback, le software, le meeting, le briefing, le mailing, le business, le networking, le smartphone, le email, le brainstorming, digital and global. All these have equivalents in French that hardly anyone ever uses. So you will hear those all the time. So I've divided the rest into two sections. The words we use correctly and those we definitely don't use correctly. Let me have a look. The first one I chose is laughter chèvre. You see the difference with the accent. Then of course you've got le barbecue, le beefsteak, Funnily enough, we should say beef steak or just steak, but we say le beef steak. And I do apologize for this because it's basically the word beef steak totally butchered. But there you go. Le bluff, le club, le cocktail, le design. All these mean exactly the same as in English into French. Le detective. Le discount, l'escalator, le fast food, le gadget, le garden center, l'interview, le kidnapping, le kit, le look, le magazine, les mass médias, le music hall, le pickpocket, le Playboy, le Scoop, which is a journalistic scoop, le Self-Service, which we love to um, shorten to le Self, le Slogan, le Snob, le Sponsoring, la Star, le Stock, le Stress, le Weekend. Now let's have a look at English words we definitely don't use correctly. And there's two categories in there. In black are the ones that are easily guessed. And in orange are the ones we quite frank, frankly ruined. So I do apologize about this, but that's how we say them. And that's how we use them. The first one is les baskets or les tennis. And by that we mean the trainers, as in the shoes. There's no other way of saying trainers. And jean, you can guess that one, it's a pair of jeans. Un break. You can't guess that one, it's an estate car. I have no idea how that came to mean an estate car in French. Un caddie is a supermarket trolley. It's a bit far-fetched that one as well. Le cake, it's an interesting one. It means a fruitcake, specifically a fruitcake, nothing else. It's not a cake in general, because that would be un gâteau. Le camping is the campsite. If you want to say camping 
as a verb is faire du camping. Le fuel is specifically the heating oil that some people still have tanks in their garden and they talk about le fuel all the time. It doesn't mean petrol or anything else. Then we've got le lifting, which is a facelift. Not that you could guess that one. Le living, which is a living room. Le parking, which is a car park. Be careful, it's not the act of parking. It's the actual car park, which we call le parking. Le planning, which is a wall planner or somebody's schedule. You will hear business people say to each other, quel est votre planning pour la semaine prochaine? What's your schedule for next week? And they do like that word because for some reason it sounds more serious than posh than just programme. Le shampoing. It's actually a shampoo. So a bottle of shampoo is une bouteille de shampoing. Uh, so we took the word shampooing and then applied the French un rule to it. And that's it, shampoing. You would never recognize that if I told you, if I didn't write it down. Le short is a pair of shorts. Le snack is actually a snack bar. It's where you buy your snacks from. It's not the actual food you, you're eating. Le stop, weird one this one. It's the action of hitchhiking, faire du stop. It's very strange. Le studio is a one room flat, self-contained flat, and it's specifically that. And then the worst one, and I do apologize about this one, le talki walki, for the walkie talkie. Quite bad, I know. Now we come to the best section, words that don't even exist in English. So we pretend we've stole these words from English, put usually an ing ending to make it more believable, and pass them off as English words to mean something that you have no idea about since they don't exist. The first one is le footing, which is actually jogging. We also use le jogging, but for some reason some people want le footing, and that's what it means. Le zapping is the one you'll hear a lot, which is channel hopping. Le flipper is the pinball game. Le relooking is a makeover because obviously le look is a, a word we use from English as in somebody's appearance so le, we've made up le relooking as in to transform someone's appearance. Le slip is a pair of pants. Le brushing is a blow dry. You will see in um, hairdressers shop windows shampoing, coupe, brushing which is a price for shampoo, cut and blow dry. In case you wonder what it is. Like this one, le baby foot, which is football. You, again, you wouldn't guess that. I do hope you enjoyed this one. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. You can claim your free ebook, The 12 Golden Rules of French, at the link below. And I'll see you in the next video. A bientôt.